12 knockouts in his career. We're at the Carmichael Hall in Chicago, Illinois. A juiced up crowd for tonight's main event as we take a closer look at the careers of Omar Sheikha and Anwar Oshana. After an outstanding amateur career, 21-year-old Omar Sheikha has been fantastic as a pro. 15 and one in his young professional career with 10 blistering knockouts. The Patterson, New Jersey native can do it from all angles. In his toughest test in December of 1997, he won a majority decision against tough Demetrius Davis. Sheikha's only loss came in 1998. As part of a three-fight package in Europe, he lost a controversial decision to Tony Booth. Tonight, Omar Sheikha squares off against Chicago's own Anwar Oshana. Oshana, like Sheikha, has just one loss in his professional resume. He's 21-1 with 12 knockouts. His biggest test came last year against Thomas Tate. After a quick start, the NABF champion Tate overwhelmed Anwar Oshana. But that has not deterred the Chicago native from getting a shot at a world championship. It's an interesting matchup. How do both men size it up tonight in the Windy City? I know that he comes in to fight. I, I know he comes to fight. Uh, he don't take a back for a step. He's a brawler like me, like I am. It's going to be an exciting fight. It's going to be a war. I studied um, Moshana a lot with the Thomas Tate fight. And I see that, you know, he's a tough guy, aggressive. He comes straight forward. That's the only know way he knows how to fight. Um, I have a lot of talent, I have a lot of skills, and I don't believe that he should be in the same ring as me. Bob Hoppe along with Teddy Atlas in Chicago. We've already had a stare down between Sheikha and Oshana for the introductions. Here's our ring announcer, Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight from Carmichael's here in Chicago, the undisputed King of Beers Budweiser presents ESPN2's Friday Night Fights main event. This bout scheduled for 10 rounds of action in the super middleweight division. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee is Tim Adams. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner and introducing first. He wears the white trunks trimmed in black and weighed in tonight at 163 pounds. Originally hailing from Syria, he now makes his home and fights out of the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. Establishing himself as a relentless puncher, he is considered to be one of the top super middleweights in the world today. He comes in tonight with an impressive professional record of 21 victories, 12 by way of knockout, with a recent title shot delivering his only defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Assyrian bull, Anwar Oshana. And across the ring, his adversary fights out of the blue corner. Wearing the solid black trunks and weighing in tonight at an even 167 pounds. In his last bout, he would deliver a devastating second round knockout. His professional record now stands at 15 victories against a single defeat with 10 of those victories over early by way of knockout. Under the guidance of the legendary Bill Caton, he is hailed to be a rising star in the ranks of the super middleweights. From Patterson, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Omar Shika. some of the fans are holding that is the Assyrian flag Oshana is from Syria but he is Assyrian meaning that he was born in Syria I'm gonna put him in a neutral corner I expect one to stay there till I tell him to come out the man who went down will take a mandatory eight count good luck to both of you let's go to work the free Tim Adams with the instructions he is from Syria but he is Assyrian meaning he is a Catholic in a Muslim land there is no actual country of Assyria. Assyrians oh, are from Syria. He came to the United States at the age of 13. Omar Sheikha, on the other hand, is of Palestinian heritage, but born and raised in Patterson, New Jersey. Just so you know, the Palestinians and the Syrians are on very friendly terms, and both men said that nationality and religion has absolutely 
absolutely nothing to do with this. Weight class and getting a world championship shot have a lot to do with it. Take a look at the knockout ratio. Oshana at 55%. Eight of Oshana's knockouts have come within the first three rounds. Sheikha, seven of his ten have come within the first two rounds. Oshana, not a big puncher, real game guy, busy guy. The key here is his defense is going to have to show a little bit. From two fights ago, when he stepped way up in class with Thomas Tate, who's their IBF number one contender for the world title. Well, we asked Oshana about that third round knockout loss to Thomas Tate. Teddy had a very interesting response to it. Yeah, he did, and a real fighter's response. He said, it's going to help me. And you know, I agree with him if he can make it work. In other words, he realized that he couldn't just outgut everybody. You know, boxing's not about being just tough. You have to bring other things to the game. And you're not just going to out-busy everybody, and you're not going to walk through everybody. And if he learned from that, at this point in his career, yes, it can help him. Well, Shana felt that he learned to be a little bit more defensive, be a little bit more patient, start a little slower, and move his head more. And he said he saw a lot of that in his last fight against Danny Thomas, not the legendary comedian. But Danny Thomas is 11 and 21, just a little bit different caliber than Thomas Tate. Except for that Thomas fight, we just talked about the Thomas Tate fight, where Oshana lost. Sheikha has been in with the better opposition. He's been, he hasn't been brought up with any silver spoon. He's been in there with some tough guys. Demetrius Davis, guys like that. A couple left hands from Sheikha. Sheikha spent three bouts in 1998 in Europe. This is going to be a fight. If Oshana can survive the power or avoid the power, Sheikha, who I think is a little bit better power-wise and maybe a little bit better skill-wise, boy, we're going to have some fight. Well, Sheikha told us that he plans to take Oshana out by the fourth round. See, that's dangerous. You see Oshana throwing those white punches there? Well, Sheikha cooperated with him. He just blocked him. But if he punches with him inside, he's going to land. Oshana blocking some of those right hands, although a right hook scored to the body. Well, the key here is Oshana's got to be in the go. He's not blocking that. Did what you're Ooh, supposed to do and put it together. Three, four, five, but there's only 20 six, seconds left. Seven, so you gotta look for some grabbing here. You don't. Cannot be saved by the bell in any round in the state of Illinois. One thing he had to learn is to grab. He's such a fighter that he'll come out when he won't grab. And that could be his downfall. Well, let's see if we can get to the end of round one. You see, he's just standing there. He's not trying to grab Sheik, as you mentioned, Teddy. And that's what, he's, that's what he has to do in that spot. But he survived. There's 20 seconds left. To the corner of Anwar Oshana, Danny Nieves, his trainer. Something that happened to make Sheikha go defensive here. Shot is still hurt despite the fact he's throwing some punches 
here. Sheik is just waiting. He's waiting. He looks like he's playing a little bit coy there. He's making the main same mistake, though. He's covering up without moving his head. You can't just cover up. Again, O'Shana blocks his shots, but up the middle because his head is still there. Gets broke. And the one thing O'Shana definitely doesn't know how to do is he does score with a left. Good counter left hook because the punch to Sheik are too wide, Bob. so busy you try to squeeze another thousand miles out of your oil or more well squeeze this just to do it yourself when you have the time reformulated quaker state protection beyond three thousand miles under any driving conditions anybody say insurance it's been tested and unlike that lazy uncle nobody really likes to talk about it works so go get some quaker state sensible technology what more do you need to know Shana has been knocked down three times in the first two rounds. Man, well, I need you. When he starts punching, lean on him. Lean on him and grab him. So what? He's trying to step it up. He's trying to save his foot. Now you can't keep down. Okay, now. come on. He's just in the middle. How are you? He's got it. How are you? He's got it. Watch you hurt. I'm going to get him punch. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Teddy, I know obviously this fight is not of the same magnitude, neither man is of the same caliber, but Omar Sheikha pounding on Warashana. It almost reminds me a little bit of that first Leonard Hearns fight. Remember when Hearns just did not know how to tie up Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, he did not. And there's one other problem that Warashana doesn't have that Hearns did have. He can't punch real quick. Oshana trying to dig in, and he is putting his punches together. And Sheikah's making the same mistake that allowed him to score on Oshana. Whoa, what a man by Sheikah. Oshana oh, takes a knee, good. and the referee has stopped it. The referee figured that there's been enough knockdowns, and it's continuing that way. Give me a he had it in his mind, it looked like. If there's another knockdown, I'm stopping this. Tim Adams stops it early in round three. It was the fourth time that Anwar Oshana had been down in the fight. Once in round one, twice in round two, and once in round three. And Omar Shika, now 16-1, 11 knockouts. And I would say that this is probably the best point of his career. Now, one of Oshana's handlers has jumped into the ring. I don't know what he's doing. Well, this is where the security has to be better, obviously. Here come more people right over us. This is happening right over us. It's the fans that probably had a little too much to drink. Michael! 
Oshana going down fourth time in the bout. You, you can see the problem there is Oshana keeps his hands up real well, but he does not move his head, and he handcuffs himself. Now here you can see he's thrown, but he's thrown wide punches, and what, what Shika did was he punched in between. He threw a short left hook, and he was able to catch Oshana with his right hand down. And this is right to our left. Uh, Omar Shika with a very, very solid effort, and it's a shame that one of the Oshana backers, and actually the guy who went charging into the ring, I don't know his name, but he right now is in the ring with Oshana, and he came charging into the corner of Oshana in between rounds two and three, yelling at Oshana's handler, and then when the fight ended, he made a hurdle right over the press table, went into the ring and crossed a lousy scene because it's no blame of Anwar Oshana or his people. Omar Shika was just the better man tonight. Hopefully they'll get everything restored here in Chicago. Let's check back in with Brian and Max. I'll tell you one thing, it's a lot safer in the studio.